Hello everybody, it's Alicia from Be Blissful. I'm super excited. I'm going to show you my Sloop Eye Palette for July 4th. It's one of the fun, uh, enchanting eye looks that I created just for July 4th. I will link this into the event. I apologize. I didn't do that. Um, and I am actually in Florida right now with my kids. So I apologize because the lighting isn't very good. I, it took me a while to kind of set things up. Um, but hopefully we will, it'll work out okay. And of course I dropped my palette, look at that, everywhere. Wah, wah, wah. Guess what I'll be ordering tonight. Order up. All right, so I'm gonna go over how to put this on. It's really cute, cute July 4th. Um, you can go deeper, you can go lighter with it, but a fun uh, variation on July 4th. So I'm gonna start with this lightest color. And we are going to just put that all over the eye. And you'll notice actually I have three satin or mattes in this palette and then one shimmer, metallic shimmer. And you will see why at the end. And all of these are really neutral, except for that blue. That blue is highly pigmented. All of my eyeshadows come with primer in them, but especially for this type of look, I already have on primer and concealer and setting powder and setting spray because this is the type of look that you absolutely want to make sure doesn't go anywhere. And if you have any questions about how I, you know, got to this part, just say consult and I will help you out. So super simple, I just used the deluxe brush and put the lightest color just every, everywhere. Now I'm gonna take a fluffy crease brush and I'm gonna use this beautiful neutral right here. And shake off the extra. And then we're gonna go in all over the crease with this one. just really gently back and forth because this is going to help transition off of that blue and also tie in to my blush and my lip gloss which this lip gloss is a limited edition special color and it is on flash sale and available through tomorrow and it is called looker and it is this bright candy apple red super super cute perfect for july 4th so it's just back and forth and we will blend all of this in a minute i just want to get everywhere I hope everyone's having a good Sunday. We're having a good Sunday. We're at the beach. How can you not have a good Sunday when you're at the beach? Okay, so I'm going to take the deluxe and liner brush and we are going to use the deluxe end of the brush and we are going to spray that with traditional setting spray because this blue is so highly pigmented. I don't want it to fall anywhere so a great way to do that is to spray with setting spray and then tap on and that will keep it from falling onto your cheeks or wherever you do not want it to go so we are putting this blue all over the lid to the bottom of the crease And because we use setting spray before we picked up the blue, you'll notice it's not falling anywhere. That's it. The setting spray is a great trick for any type of metallic or shimmer to make sure that it doesn't fall anywhere or any super highly pigmented color. And this blue is definitely highly pigmented, which is really, we want that for this look. It's July 4th, right? That's what we want. We want a very, pigmented, festive look. And this is definitely gonna give us that. that. I promise we are not done yet. 
Trust the process. Trust the process. Promise, promise. But see, we've got, got a beautiful blue going on. All right, I'm gonna spray again with setting spray onto the Deluxe and Liner Brush and then come back, pick up that beautiful satin blue and then put it on the lid from the inside to the outside just to the bottom of the crease. I'm gonna look very festive. We're getting ready to go grab some dinner. It's kind of funny because we are we are in, on the Emerald Coast in the Gulf and we fell back an hour. And so Whenever I look at the clock, I'm like, I feel like it should be later than it is. But the puppies are not with us and it is, um, I'm enjoying not having my super early wake up call from the puppies. But I do believe the puppies have taken over my parents also. Whoopsie doo. Okay, so we've got our blue on. Trust the process, I promise, trust the process. I know it looks a little crazy right now, but we're gonna, we're gonna make it cut. Okay, so I'm gonna take blending brush and we're just gonna gently blend that blue into that beautiful neutral color. I promise we're not done, promise, promise. And then we're gonna just gently blend right up into here. But see how that, that middle color just helps with that transition. Okay, so now we are going to take this brush and spray it with some setting spray. And we are gonna pick up the color that I dropped, which is optimistic, oops, I do. And we're gonna put that right in the middle go right above the middle of your cornea. And then we're gonna take that blending brush and we're gonna gently blend that out. Since we use setting spray, it's really not gonna blend too, too much, but it will blend a little bit. But what we're doing is cutting up that bold blue with a highlight right in the middle so it doesn't look so drastic and stark and it looks super festive, kind of like fireworks, which is perfect, it's for July 4th. All right, we're gonna do the other eye. Just put it right in the middle. And then blend, super simple. Super, super simple. Super simple. All right, we're gonna come back. And then without using setting spray, I'm gonna use the same brush, and I'm gonna pick up a little bit more, but without setting spray, and I'm gonna go just on the outside edges of the center where I put that color. just on the outside and that, then we're gonna take blending brush and then we're gonna blend and that just softens up that blue and draws, draws people's eye to the center of your eye. Hopefully that makes sense. All right, I'm gonna add a, a little bit more of the poor color that I dropped. Oopsie doo. What can I say? It's vacation. All right, so here we go. Oh, I can hear my kids. What's mom doing? <laughs> One of them goes, I think mom's in the shower. Nope, mom is doing a live. <laughs> mom's at her shower. I did my hair. I 
can't tell you it's hot as but Jesus. Whoa. And I'm from Georgia. It's hot. Okay, so right, we've got this cute little look going on. And then we're just gonna blend that a little bit, and then we're gonna go in same brush, same color, right on the inside. And most of the time, I tell you go light on the inside. For this look, you can really make it pop, right? Because this is quite a bold look, and so uh, getting that inner corner of the eye to pop is gonna help open up your eye. There you go. And you can with, where did I put it? Here we go. With the liner shader brush, you can uh, use this end to, if you wanna put um, a blue highlight on the top or even on the bottom, you certainly can with this particular look. You know, I'm not, uh, I'm not normally a eyeliner on the bottom type of gal, but with this look, It would be really fun because this is your special out of the ordinary look. But in general, I say don't put eyeliner underneath your eyes because it just close off your eyes. But you can absolutely put this under there. Help open up your eyes a little bit, help pop them. Let's see, I'm going to take a little bit of setting spray and put that right there. And we are, well, you can see what I'm doing. I'm just gently dabbing that right here. Just to help pull it up just to complete the look, but I'm not a big under the eyeliner, under the eye eyeliner type of gal. But with this look, it's just fun and it really does just help pull the eye up just a little bit. Okay, there we go. All right, perfect. Okay, now I'm trying to think if I'm gonna put eyeliner on. I don't think I am gonna put eyeliner on. Um, you certainly can. I think I'm going to skip it today though. All right. So we are going to put, we're definitely going to put lash primer on because A, I want to condition my lashes. B, I definitely want them to be big and beautiful like fireworks because this is for July 4th. So this is my salute palette. And each of the palettes that I'm showing are different colors. They look similar, I promise you they're not. I gotta tell you, do makeup not in your normal spot, like on vacation, is interesting. It's kind of a challenge, but I'm up for it. I got this, I got this. Here we go, okay, so next up I'm gonna use Twisted because I really wanna be able to separate those lashes. And get them nice and long and beautiful. I like to go down first. That way I get the back side and then come back up. And you want most of the focus of your lashes to be on your upper lash. we're going to a noodle bar tonight I think I'm not sure I think that's what my kids decided we'll find out in a little while <laughs> I'll let you guys know <laughs> I'm not sure they were like I want ramen I'm like okay whatever y'all want it's a vacation let's see okay and then we're gonna use the larger brush on twisted 
to really give it some added depth and definition. And then we're gonna come back and use Epic Waterproof because it's July 4th and it's gonna be hot and there's gonna be water and we are at the beach. And I do not like runny mascara. In fact, I pretty much loathe runny mascara to be honest with you. It drives me crazy. And considering I live where it's hot and humid, that it's until I found this particular mascara, it was a serious problem. But this waterproof mascara does not go anywhere. You can swim in the ocean, go to the pool. You can play four hours of tennis in this stuff and it will not move. I love it. And you can put it on top of any mascara. And then I use waterproof on the bottom. So that the mascara I just know isn't gonna run down my face. And you can layer it as much as you want. The key to layers are thin layers. Otherwise, it starts to clump up. And I did get a wee bit of mascara on, um, on my eyelid. I'm gonna show you how to get it off. Let it dry and it's dry. And then it's right here. And then you just take the end of your spoolie brush and knock that bad boy off. And your makeup's intact. Okay, so there it is. There's the Salute palette. We are ready. I'm super excited. Let me know if you have any questions or you want the link to the Salute palette or my limited edition um, looker color, which happens to be on sale and available through tomorrow because it was only available um, a while ago. And I love this color. Perfect for July 4th. Let me know. Everyone have a great, safe night. I'll see you soon. Bye.